Hello, my name is Sandeep and today we'll see first experiment in case tools lab that is drawing an use case diagram here first we have to understand what is a use case diagram it is a diagram which looks like this and it contains different type of use cases which are the functions and then actor actors association and direct association generalization dependency includes exclude extends all these things are there first a use case diagram identifies the functionality provided by the system so here we have uh, drawn this for the HR resource management and then we have identified few use cases which involve uh, the HR uh, management system and then uh, providing a high level view of what the system does and then uh, identifying the users of the system determining areas needing human computer interface and in this use case the major things are actor an actor as mentioned is a user of the system and then a uh, use case a use case is a functionality basically which provides uh, the it's provided by the system and it has all the verb plus object uh, <coughs> uh, typically uh, it is described as verb, verb plus object and then association in association <coughs> it is actually a link where actor is connected with the use case and after that we have include uh, use case include is a directed relationship between two different use cases as shown here here the bank atm transaction includes customer authentication and then extend this is uh, a direct relationship that specifies how and when the behavior the def behavior defined is usually optional and all these things using all these things we have to draw a use case diagram now let's see the use case diagram of a human resource management system this is the thing and here we have chosen two actors like employee and admin hr so uh, there should be some interface between uh, employee and the admin uh, who are active and then <coughs> there should be different type of functionalities for employee and other set of functionalities for admin hr and there may be a uh, few things which exclude and few things which include in these functionalities first let's see the uh, this thing like enter login details this functionality will include identification and authentication this is also a function uh, here i have given include because after uh, entering into the login page there is a perp, uh, like we should definitely enter the identification and authentication details and so only the process done and then uh, we can also extend the forward password like uh, many of the login pages have so that we can uh, directly uh, have our new password and then there is something called display salary here display salary is accessed by the employee uh, the employee may uh, use this option and then in this option I have included calculate package <coughs> so the salary is dependent on the uh, package like uh, if he have to calculate the amount of days if he was present and then the track attendance and so on so I have given include by which the salary will be calculated and the actual package is retrieved by the employee <coughs> and then uh, the next option which I have given is track attendance. This attendance details are the may have uh, monthly attendance and then the performance evaluation. This performance evaluation like uh, is done by the HR admin, not by the employee because HR admin has the access to all the employee performances and then he can evaluate uh, ba based on those things and then uh, employee details this function can be accessed by employee and also by uh, HR admin an employee in a company can see the details of all other employees like uh, not personal details but the basic details of the employees and then the HR admin can go in depth of the employee details and <coughs> this employee details I have included onboard employee details and past employee details that means uh, we can see the employees of the present 
uh, present situation in the company and also the past employees which have which uh, like which uh, they have left the company before before few months or few days and then there's another option called apply leave this uh, this is important because we have uh, done this with includes like <coughs> apply leave this includes the uh, presence of admin hr and it should also include two different type of medical uh, like leaves that is medical or casual and the next thing is <coughs> giving feedback the feedback also includes two things like uh, report issues and give rating feedback is only given by the employee and not by the hr admin because he manages everything and employee uh, gives feedback or uh, he reports an issue to the hr admin directly so these are all the functions and use cases which i have used in the hr admin like hr management system uh, this is my first experiment thank you